Okay guys, check it out. I've got a tip for you about how to use the bow hair to create a bigger, more expressive, more resonant and more beautiful sound. This is something I learned by watching old footage of the great Russian cellist Daniel Shafron. So most cellists have this issue that when they play at the frog, it's natural for them to have a quite big sound because they use the natural weight of the arm. However, while playing at the tip, this becomes much more difficult because you have this issue of the leverage. So I noticed that Shafran was doing something um, with the bow hair, which is that while at the frog, in order to compensate this issue of the, the weight imbalance, he would use less of the bow hair while he was towards the frog and more of the bow hair, basically all of the bow hair, while at the tip. So just on an open string, it would look something like this. You see, I'm rotating the stick of the bow away from me as I go to the tip and back towards me as I go to the frog. Okay, so now I will give you um, an example from the repertoire. This is a famous theme from the slow movement of Dvorak's cello concerto. And first I will play it um, without using this technique. So just the normal way that any um, typical cellist would play using the same amount of hair throughout the bow. <laughs> just described and the one that Shafran uses. and I hope you like the difference and I encourage you to try this out uh, while you're practicing and please let me know in the comments how it works for you but I really hope that it will give you a much more emotional and beautiful and uh, ringing sound especially in your legato singing passages so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time